There, Lee here from MPG. I do hope you're having a great day. Mid-Easter holidays, school break, whatever you're doing, hope you're having a fantastic time. This is my weekly real estate market update, and this week I'll keep it brief. Just wanted to report on the recent report that CoreLogic released around its home value index. So basically it's shown that the property prices have picked up pace um, throughout the year and since December quarter last year as well. So the home value index has shown that market prices are up 0.6% uh, in March and 1.6% for the first quarter of 2024, which is up on the December quarter, which reported price growth on average of around 1.4%. Now, different markets are performing at different levels, of course. Uh, Brisbane, Adelaide and Perth, the key performers. And they showed some great gains in March. So 1.1% in Brisbane, 1.4% in Adelaide and 1.9% in Perth, the star performer there. Regional areas performing as well as capital cities, the combined rates of growth at least. And they're showing growth at 0.6% uh, for that March period. Uh, now look, there's slower rates of growth compared to what we experienced mid last year where we saw quarterly growth of around 3.3%, but it looks like it's picking up pace. And I actually predict that for the rest of the year going forward, we will see property prices start to grow a little bit more rapidly. Perhaps not what we experienced back in the boom, um, but certainly at a higher level of growth than we've experienced in the last three to six months. The reason for that is because the RBA has paused the cash rates. The interest rates are on hold. And buyers now have confidence in what their repayments, mortgage repayments will look like, what their financial situation looks like. And that will get more buyers back into the marketplace. There's also talk about the RBA potentially lowering that cash rate, meaning that interest rates will drop later in the year. And we know that when interest rates drop, and this is what happened when the boom started, those interest rates dropped very quickly and we had all this increased buyer competition and that forced prices up significantly, you know, anywhere between 40 and 60% in some markets across Australia. Now, I don't think that's going to particularly happen this year, but certainly if that cash rate drops one or two percentage points, we will see increased competition in the marketplace. And that on the back of lower supply levels, and there's certainly still a lacking of property supply in the marketplace, we should see extra competition and property prices potentially push up a little bit further. Looking at a 1.6% growth in that first quarter of the year, look, we did sort of suggest that growth for the year would be around the 7 and 8% mark, and that's looking like where it might end up by the end of the year, depending on what the RBA does with that cash rate and depending on what happens with stock levels or the amount of properties coming to the market as well. We have seen more properties coming to the market, but the buyer's feedback that we're receiving here is that there's still a lack of quality properties for sale and um, there is increased or more buyers in the marketplace right now as well. So we're actually seeing locally here on the Sunshine Coast, prices actually um, rise a little bit as well. So that's my report for this week. Hope you're enjoying it. As always, check it out at muttonsy.com.au. My weekly article is there, so have a read of that for me. All our latest listings are there as well. We've got a bumper April coming up. We've got a bunch of properties about to come to the market. Residential properties, acreage properties, entry level properties, you name it, we've probably got you covered. Give us a call if there's anything we can help you with. Have a great day ahead.